<laughs> and it sounded like the football players were saying they didn't know what you were going to do today. What did you think, like, when you woke up today? Well, it's funny because, um, I mean, we had, me and Coach Bowman had a conversation um, on Thursday. Um, and he kind of sat me down and, you know, the way that, you know, I was feeling and looking throughout the week. He kind of told me that he probably didn't plan on playing me today. Um, so, I mean, obviously, you know, we weren't going to rule it out. But um, that was the mindset kind of going forward, just day by day, see how I felt today. Um, so, obviously, this morning, didn't really know what to expect. Um, woke up with a migraine, so that was great to, to add on top of that. And um, just fighting, through, fighting with that throughout the day. But uh, went out to warm-ups and, you know, had it taped up and felt good enough. So. Did you take Tylenol or something? Nah. <laughs> No, it was weird. It kind of just popped up. It was weird. This has been probably a, a challenging season for you. This, you know, what the expected role was supposed to be, and then you get hurt. How have you been able to kind of battle through all that and stay ready for the team? I gotta say, it's, it's just been the guys in the locker room. Um, you know, showing up every day, um, see them putting in the work. You know, and obviously I'm not able to, to handle the same amount of, of work and load that they've been putting in day in and day out, but just being around them, um, trying, to, trying to support them in any way possible, being around, trying to be a vocal leader. Um, I think they, they kept me in it, and today, you know, um, you know, I, I, if I was going to go, it was going to be for the seniors, um, and you know, it, it ended up working out that way. Not really. Um, you know, I just obviously wanted to kind of feel it out, um, and you know, I just try to fulfill my role as, as best as I could. Um, you know, it wasn't like I said to warm ups where I, I told coach I was I was ready to go. Um, and, you know, we stuck with the same plan. Um, you know, Jackson was going to go in the game first. And um, I was going to kind of leave him when needed and, and then take the, the second series. Um, but you know, I wasn't worried about you know getting touches or anything, just trying to um, play my best. You've been pretty open about your hope that if this season goes the way you want, perhaps it's your last game. Did you approach this like it might be your last game? Or how did you kind of, what was your mindset about that? Uh, no, it's in, in the back of my mind. Uh, definitely did approach it like that, but you know, you never know. Uh, so, not necessarily ready to uh, voice that yet. What do you think about your feeling? You know, how much did you think you were going to be up to and then it's going to be frustrated to that point? I had no idea, honestly. Uh, like I said, I was just trying to, to feel how, how it was going to feel during the game. Um, you know, the first tackles or whatever it may be, obviously. People love to tackle me low, um, so having a lower body injury isn't um, the most fun to play with at my position, but um, felt good, uh, good enough to, to keep it rolling. After the loss last week, there were guys who were kind of openly wondering whether everybody was bought in. I don't know if that got back to you. Um, what were your impressions when you heard that, or just whether there was buy-in from the team? Like, did, Were you wondering whether that was an issue with the team? Um, I don't, I don't necessarily think so. Um, I mean, the emotions were obviously very high. Um, and I mean, that's what you gotta kind of look to. You know, you gotta make sure that everybody that's in that locker room um, has the same goals in mind. Um, and I, I thought every, everybody did. You know, it wasn't um, anybody that I thought maybe doesn't have the same amount of um, you know, interest to put in this as, as the others. But um, you know, like I said, the emotions were high. And, you know, it was, it was just about coming together. Um, kind of reiterating what our goal is and, and what we're going to accomplish this season, make sure everybody is on board. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's going tremendously in, in every way. I mean, he's taking on a very large role now, you know, handling all the kicks, all the punts, and he's, he's done a great job. Um, you know, hard, hard, play hard guy, you know, a lot of effort on every single play, every time he touches the ball. Um, it could be a big one, so I think he's, he's done a great job kind of um, taking on that role and, and running with it. Um, I, honestly, 
the whole game to me was kind of like there wasn't much there. Um, I'm going to be real with you, just try to put my head down, get what I can, um, and kind of the same thing with the um, touchdown run at the end, too. Just try to bury my head and hope the line pushes me enough. Um, they did. You scored a lot of touchdowns in Camp Randall, obviously, but to have one in that kind of moment in overtime, maybe or may not be your last game in the stadium. I mean, what, what does that mean? Does it carry a little bit more weight for you? Yeah, it does. I mean, that's, uh, you know, if, if that's it, um, I don't think there's a better way to, to go out than that um, overtime win, great team win. And, you know, it's all about sending out the seniors on the right now, so I've got it done. There's a sequence where you had a long run and Jackson was on the field. You were pretty happy about the way you I guess, do you, you obviously have that level to say, but what goes into making that determination? And uh, I, it's just, you know, once I once I start to feel it, you know, it's I don't want to come off the field. Um, so, you know, just letting coach know that I don't want to come out unless, you know, I really need to. Um, and he's good with that. I mean, you know, he asked for that from us. And um, that's all I went into. And, you know, I just wanted the ball again. Uh, I think just, just coming up big in, in big moments, making plays, you know, whether, you know, he's throwing the ball or, or running it, um, you know, doing what he needed to do to, to keep us in the game. Um, and, you know, always staying level-headed, I've said it before, but very even-keeled guy. And, uh, some of that's fun to play with because, you know, he makes a ton of plays for us. Um, he came up big. I'm sure you guys are going to join us at least for tonight, but just curious, you know, when you play next week, you know, what's happened in the last two years, what are some of the things that are in your head and your gut when you think of the last two years? Like, what game you didn't play last year? Yeah, um, just, just get the ax, win it. Uh, you know, like I said, the last two years, came up short, so um, this one's big. This one's very big for us as a team and uh, for this program. Um, you know, those aren't guys that we like very much, so um, going there and you know, going to their stadium, you know, try to handle business and, and get the axe home. A couple more here for Braylon. Anything else? Just how much work does it take to get that good thing that you have? All the stuff that goes into trying to prepare you physically to get that home. A lot, a lot. Um, you know, you, I couldn't put a number of how many hours I've, I'm in the training room um, uh, a day, but uh, you know, I gotta say I probably sent a couple emails to my professors. Um, you know, I'm rehabbing right now. Uh, might be a little late, might not be able to make it today, but um, they've all been good with that. So it's been a lot of time in, in the training room, lots of rehab, lots of treatment. Um, it's paid off. How tough is that to go through you're not yeah, it's, I mean, it's it's tough, um, kind of mentally, you know, not having those reps, but at the end of the day, it's just football. Um, and I mean, I didn't take a, I don't think I took a snap at practice this week. Um, it's pretty much just been just rehab on the side, um, you know, trying to make sure it's, it's feeling as good as possible. Um, but at the end of the day, like I said, it's, it's just football. And, um, you know, basically just have to listen to what Tanner says. Um, and, I don't know, ask him what I gotta do and uh, take it from there.